Yeah, that's not pretty, is it? It's absolutely full of water. 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 Yep, and that's an MOT pass now. Yeah, that's clear enough for them. Now I didn't have to remove the light from the car or even the side markers from the car to do this. Hello and welcome to Tim's BMW Repairs and Information. Yeah, that's not pretty, is it? It's absolutely full of water. It still works. Well, the halo doesn't. The main beam still works and the xenon still works. So it's a working model at the moment, but that's not going to last for long. I mean, we've had them leak before, had a bit of moisture in them, used a hairdryer to dry them out, but that looks excessive. And the reason why it's excessive is the seal up here has broken down. Now the seal doesn't seal the headlight, but what it does do is it seals any rain coming in at this angle, which is what you're gonna get when you're blasting along the road. It goes straight under the indicator and straight over the back of the headlight. And it's not perfectly sealed at the back. So this water ends up in the headlight enclosure. I'm gonna dry it out with the hairdryer, but it's gonna leave a mark. So I think we're gonna end up with two choices here, really, or maybe three. Um, get the headlight out, obviously, um, and then try and clean it somehow, so clean this internal face. And the only way through is through the main beam. Um, might be able to get something in there to clean the inside because it's going to leave marks, that is, no doubt about it. Second option, buy a brand new one. Yeah, 1,500 quid. And it's going to look a bit weird compared to the other one. Third option, get a second-hand one. There's one on eBay at the moment for 450 quid. And that's got a few marks in it, but it is going to work, hopefully. But first of all, let's clear the condensation out of this and uh, see what it looks like. So I've, got, I've lost my big tube. So I've, gonna, I've got a new tube. I'm going to saw one up so that we can get the hair dryer down into the main beam. Or Yeah, it's into the main beam, that is. And yeah, we'll take it from there. We're just going to have to look and see how well that goes. Right. Right, the next thing we need to do, and we'll do that before clearing out all the condensation, is we need the weather strip that goes underneath this indicator. Now, of course, it's adhesive, so it's very sticky. So how am I going to get it in there without it sticking on? Or do I have to remove the headlight or the indicator or anything like that? I'm going to try a plan of sticking it in a bucket of water. Yep, yeah, it seems ridiculous, and it probably is. Okay, so that's been in the water. That means the adhesive isn't going to grab straight away. It gives me just a small chance of getting it in the groove. And also, because it's heated up slightly, it's more malleable and I can get it round the corner. Gloves off for this bit and a pair of scissors. Now, once it all dries out, it's going to become very sticky. In fact, it's starting to get sticky at this end already but I've got just enough time, I think. There we go, and I snip round that round there. There we go. I'll right, lift up the indicator as far as I can. Yeah, it's starting to stick. I don't want it to stick yet. Yeah, a bit further in, the rest of it is perfect. It's just this bit's causing a bit of a pain. I might have to get the stuff off of that but the rest of it's gone in there perfectly excellent the plan is i remove the high beam bulb they're easy to get out and impossible to get back in again so just push the top downwards then remember which way the cables go on it and the cables point towards the center of the car and that of course leaves a hole into the headlight which is the only aperture we'll be able to get to, no matter how hard we try, even if we take it apart. So I think what I'll do is I'll try and feed it in from here. So I've got my brush, just in case of getting it in the right way. It's absolutely stormy around here at the moment. It's just all wind blowing around, leaves going everywhere. God bless me, that's cold. Yeah, that's through the hole. Okay, so we can get the brush through. 
And can we clean? Yeah, we can effectively clean the inside of the glass. Well, that looks brilliant, doesn't it? Pretty fantastic, it's pretty clear. Much clearer than it's ever been in my ownership, that's for sure. Yeah, the sort of bendy brush through the main beam aperture worked a treat, yeah. Thought of it last night, I thought, well, I'll give it a go. Yep, and that's an MOT pass now. Yeah, that's clear enough for them. Now I didn't have to remove the light from the car or even the side markers from the car to do this. Yeah, so I'm really pleased. Yeah, from the point when I first started this thinking I needed a new main beam unit or a second hand one at 450 quid, which might be just as bad as this. Yep, yeah, to the point where it's fantastic. It's better than the other one now, so I might have to do the other one as well. Yeah, all done for a few P as well. Not much money at all. So yeah, it really was just a case of drying, doing this, uh, the drying to start with to a certain point remove the main beam, put the bottle brush through it, give it a good scrub, have a few goes at that to get it right, and then put the main beam back in, heat it all up again with the hairdryer, leave it for about four hours. And the reason I reckon they condensate again is the water actually trickles down into the light control module, which is under each of the headlights. Now, when I've changed the one on this light, you could pour the water out of it. And I think what happens is water sits in them and uh, when they start working, they heat up and sort of start condensating everything again. So hence the four hours required to dry it all out. So yeah, that is fantastic. That's an excellent result. Yeah, I was quite sort of depressed about it a couple of days ago, thinking I'm gonna have to pay out some money and do quite a bit of work. But no, I haven't had to. No, it's been for the cost of a bottle brush. And that's about it. Oh, and some tape as well, of course. Yeah, I'm really pleased with the way the tape worked as well. Yeah, dipping it in some warm soapy water will stop the adhesive working just for a few minutes. And once it dries out, it's stuck in there and it's not coming back out again. So now I've got a perfect seal between the side marker and the headlamp. I shouldn't get any more condensation or water into it, which was the main problem. It was absolutely full of water to start with. Okay, so yeah, keep subscribing, keep commenting. I love the comments. Yeah, I'd like to hear the comments on this one. <laughs> it's a weird one. Put the thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.